Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Tanaka with a WBZ News Update. Our top stories for you. Karen Reed's defense attorneys say they're going to try and get the case against her dismissed and half the Norfolk County DA hit with sanctions. Her attorneys made the disclosure at the end of a hearing on Friday in which they demanded access to correspondence between the DA's office and federal authorities. Federal authorities are reviewing the case. Reed is accused of backing her SUV into her boyfriend, Boston police officer John O'Keefe, and leaving him to die in a snowbank. State police wrapped up a new search Friday for murder suspect Aaron Pennington. He's been missing since October after he allegedly shot and killed his wife, Brianne. Police say they searched a 25 mile stretch along power lines by foot and ATVs in the woods of Ashburnham and Gardner. Police had said there was no new information that drove them to launch this search. An acclaimed Boston chef just shut down three of her restaurants. Barbara Lynch abruptly closed Menton, Sportello and Drink. All three share the same building in Fort Point. Lynch says rent was simply too high to keep those restaurants open. Two of her other Boston restaurants, The Butcher Shop and Stir in the South End, have been sold to her protégés. Last spring, Lynch, who still owns three restaurants, faced a lawsuit from former employees over allegations of workspace abuse. Well, the big storm's almost here. Time for a check of the forecast with our chief, Eric Fisher. Hey, good evening, everyone. We're talking about a storm on the way in starting Saturday night. Winter storm warnings off to the north and west of Boston and not as much as you go south and east. So it will depend on where you live for this one. Tomorrow afternoon, we could see some snow showers, ocean effects coming in across Essex County, southern New Hampshire. Not the main story. The bigger storm arrives between 8 and 10. So that's a faster timing. We'll be here as we get into the evening. Road conditions going downhill. So just be cautious if you're going to be out and about. Temperatures, if you are inside that 128.95 corridor, will be above freezing for just about the entire event. So accumulation will be lower as well as roads being in better shape than areas to the north and west of that line where it's colder. Looks like our steadiest and heaviest snow would be overnight into early on Sunday morning. Now as we get into the Sunday, mostly lighter to a few pops of moderate snowfall. I think roads in general will be OK, but temperatures will fall late. So the areas that have been above freezing will ice up very quickly during the afternoon. Snow amounts 6 to 10 inches look likely for those interior spots and then a little line of uh, kind of transition between the lowest totals and the bigger ones, three to six inches here, right around the Walpole area and down through Providence. And then if you're right at the coastline, sloppy wet snow that's difficult to accumulate and rain mixing in. So we're talking about much lower amounts if you're on Cape Ann or down to Boston and into Hull and Nantasket. Meanwhile, you head toward Concord, Carlisle or Merrimack Valley spots. You've got the bigger snow. South Shore, if you're on the water, not expecting a lot of accumulation there. Mostly rain for Cape Cod and the islands. So some mixing involved. If you're farther inland, that's where you'll be looking at all snow and as for the winds they'll be gusty especially at the coast on Sunday but not expecting a lot of power outage issues Cape Cod and the islands have the best chance for some of those stronger gusts over 45 miles per hour Chris all right and of course we'll keep you updated all weekend long I'm Chris Tanaka and this has been a WBC news update